If you're looking to expand your mount collection with some quick and easy mounts, then this video should be of interest to you, as in this video I'm going to be running through various mounts that you can get within 20 minutes or less, and they're going to be pretty much guaranteed, there's not going to be crazy RNG or anything along those lines, it should be a list of mounts that most people watching this video will be able to tick off at the end of the video. There will be some unlucky cases, but the vast majority of the people should be able to get all of these mounts within 20 minutes each. The first mount on this list is going to be the original easy to get mount which is the bronze drake. This is going to come from the dungeon Kulunga Strathholm on heroic and it is a 100% drop chance as long as you do everything right. So to go there you'll want to head out to the caverns of time which is in Tanaris in Kalimdor. Head down the caverns of time to the bottom, take a left and you'll find the dungeon entrance. Do so make sure you are on heroic dungeon difficulty by right clicking on your character portrait, going down to dungeon difficulty and hitting heroic then you can head inside. Once inside you'll find Chromie who will start a quest for you, you'll have to reveal these grains with the item, do all of them, head up the path, meet Chromie again, speak to Chromie and go through the RP, follow Arthas inside and speak to Arthas again, and then the dungeon will begin where you've got a timer. You basically need to get to a, a special boss before the timer ends, which is very easy to do on a higher level character. You'll find these flags with waves of mobs on the map, there'll also be a call out in chat as well, and you'll go around killing these waves of mobs. Eventually a boss will spawn, you'll kill the boss and then you'll be back to killing the waves of mobs. Once all the waves are dead and you've killed the next boss, then you'll go to the town hall which is kind of northish of the dungeon. You'll go inside the town hall, Arthas will be stood at the door, you'll speak to Arthas and you'll follow him around this area and then you'll have another boss, you'll kill that boss, you'll speak to Arthas once more, you'll open an entrance, you'll follow him through and then you can leave Arthas alone. From there you'll follow this path down where all the undead are and just as you get to the last boss, you want to continue following the path around, don't go into the boss's area, and you'll find a special mini boss which is an infinite dragon. You'll kill that and you will get yourself the bronze drake 100% guaranteed as long as you've done it in time. Next up, some really great mounts to add to the collection because they literally take minutes to get and that is going to be the black drake and the twilight drake. The black drake coming from 10 man obsidian sanctum and the twilight drake coming from 25 man obsidian sanctum. So you'll have to do it on multiple characters if you want both of the mounts or you'll have to come back once raids reset on your main character, it's, it's up to you. So to get there you'll want to go to the Wormrest Temple which is found in Dragonblight in Northrend and on the north side of Wormrest Temple you'll find like a massive crack in the ground, you'll go inside that and the raid will be the entrance straight ahead. To get the, the drake that you need you'll want to right click on the character portrait, go down to raid difficulty and set legacy size to either 10 man or 25 man depending on which colour drake you want. Head inside and then basically all you have to do is kill the big dragon in the middle without killing any of the three twilight drakes around the room before you engage the main boss. You can kill the trash that's fine, just don't kill any of the twilight drakes before you engage the main boss and you can kill the twilight drakes once you've engaged the boss that's fine but just not before. So kill the main boss, you'll need to be about level 100-ish for this. And once the boss is dead, there'll be a chest in the middle. You'll loot the chest and you'll get yourself the mount 100% drop chance as long as you didn't kill the Twilight Drakes. The next mount up on this list is going to be called Garn Nighthal, which is this armoured wolf. And it drops 100% chance from a mob called Nock Garrosh. We'll find Nock Garrosh in Warlords of Draenor in Frostfire Ridge. And you'll want to have a character around level 105-ish to be able to kill this. So make your way to Frostfire Ridge, either using Garrison Hearthstone if you hoard, or Flight Paths or whatever to get there. Once you're there, head to the position on the map now, and you'll find Not Karash kind of spawned under the tree with a bunch of wolves around it. Once you kill Not Karash, you will 100% chance get the mount, but there's one thing to know, it does have a 10 to 40 minute respawn timer. So if you do get there just as it's killed, you could be waiting a little bit longer than 20 minutes, Although every single time I've gone to kill this mob, it's always alive, even on the populated realm that I'm on, which is Draenor. People just don't really care to kill this. And to keep things within the 20 minute boundary, this mount is also bind on equip. So what you can do is, if you don't want to fly out there, you could check your auction house, and on mine it goes for about 400 gold. So it sells for such a small amount of gold that you could probably buy it anyway, and you'd probably save more time than it would be to make that amount of gold. So there you go, that is another easy mount to your collection. The next mounts up on this list are going to be a bit of a package deal because you're going to get about three to four mounts very, very quickly. These are going to come from a raid called Temple of Anchorage, also known as AQ Forta, which we'll find in Silithus in Kalimdor. So make your way out there, 
Once you're there, head over to the kind of right hand side raid. There are two, the 20 man and 40 man. So do make sure you go inside the right one. Head inside there and basically you want to kill the trash. The trash will have a chance of dropping either the red, green, blue or yellow resonating crystal, which when used will give you a mount. Now, unfortunately, these mounts can only be used within the raid. But the good news is they do count towards your achievement and your mount journal. So they will give you a boost in mounts very, very quickly and easy to do. Now, the red one in particular, though, is a much lower drop chance. So if you want to get all four, what I'd recommend doing is either killing all the trash before the first boss, running out and resetting and doing that over and over again. Or you could clear the full raid, killing all of the trash and you might get lucky and get the red one. But if not, you just come back when it resets again and repeat that if you have to like transmog and pets. But either way, four, uh, three mounts very, very quickly and that bonus chance of the fourth mount as well. The next stop on our list is going to be the Dungeon Zola Men, which was a raid back in BC, which would drop the Armani War Bear. It was updated to be a dungeon and now drops the Armani Battle Bear in its place, which still looks good, but not quite as good as the War Bear at least. So for this, you'll want to head out to Ghostlands found in Eastern Kingdoms, and you'll want to be on a character of around level 105-ish to do this. Make sure you are on Heroic Dungeon difficulty and then head inside. Once inside, speak to Vol'jin, click the gong to begin the dungeon, and then a timer will begin. You need to basically kill the first four bosses within that timer, and you will get a little bit of bonus time from killing some of them too. The order that I do it in is the top, sorry, the bottom left boss, bottom right, top right, and then finishing it off with the top left. The order doesn't really matter, this one just flows the best, it's easier to do. Once you've killed the fourth, you'll free the prisoner out the cage, they'll run around, and break these pots and then on the final pot break you'll open the bag and you'll have a near 100% chance of getting the mount it's on it's in the 90s somewhere so if you don't get it on your first attempt you might have to come back on an all or do it the next day but you most majority of people should get it on their first attempt and this run takes less than 10 minutes anyway so you, if you do have to do it twice you're still getting the mount in less than 20 minutes now if you don't get it on your second time you're probably doing something wrong or you're just extremely unlucky and you might want to throw in an unlucky lottery ticket, I'm not too sure. The next mounts on this list will be a big boost to your mount collection if you've never done this before. I feel like some of you will have, but just in case you haven't, I definitely feel like it's worth mentioning. And those are going to be the base race mounts of your faction. So say you mainly play an orc and you've not picked up any of the troll mounts because you don't have a troll character and you've not done their rep, then we're going to have a very quick method of getting those troll raptors. What we're going to do is make a class trial troll. I'll generally make a mage because a mage can teleport to wherever it needs to be. So, you know, it's home faction sitter. In this case, it's not necessary on a troll, but, you know, worth mentioning. Log into this class trial and herf out of the kind of class trial event. That'll take you to the main faction sitter. From there, you'll log out, send that character 100 gold, log back in, and then make your way to that factions or that races mount vendor. So in this case, that's going to be Senjin Village. We'll make our way all the way down there and then we'll speak to the mount vendor and they will sell us all of the mounts instantly. We don't need any quests done or any reputation because we're already a troll. We already have what we need to be able to purchase those mounts. And you can do that with all the various different factions, which is going to give you a big boost of mounts if you don't have these. If you have a bit of gold to spare, then the next ones we're going to look at are cheap mounts that come from vendors that have no requirements behind them. And the first one up is going to be May Francis, who we'll find in Dalaran. This will be new or old Dalaran, it doesn't matter. So the one in Northrend or the one in Legion, just head to one of those Dalarans and then head outside the pet shop. Once you're there, you'll find the NPC stood outside. And from them, we'll be able to buy the Reigns of the Armored Brown Bear for 600-ish gold, the Woolly Mammoth for 8,000 gold, the Armored Blue Windrider for Horde for 1.6k, and the Armored Snowy Griffin for 1.6k as well. If you have a little bit more gold as well, you're a little bit richer, you could also buy the Tun Traveler's Tundra Mammoth for 16,000 gold. The other vendor we're going to look at is in Kunlai Summit in Pandaria. So you'll head over to Kunlai, and on the rightish side, definitely over the right of where the Shah of Anger spawns, if you know where that is, showing you on the map now anyway, you'll find this little kind of area with some yaks, and there'll be a yak vendor here who will sell us three different yaks. One of them is going to cost 120k, which I, I don't expect you to be able to just buy. But it will also sell two other yaks, which will cost around 4,000 gold each. So fairly cheap. And if you don't have any of these vendor mounts, then you know it's a quick way of picking up some extra mounts for your collection. 
The next mounts on this list will vary a little bit, but I think in general people will be able to get this in 20 minutes or less. It took me like 13 minutes, so it shouldn't be much further for that if you are a little bit more unlucky. And that is going to be the mounts from the Primal Egg, which will be the Black Primal Raptor, the Green Primal Raptor, and the Red Primal Raptor. So to get this going, you'll want to head over to the Isle of Giants, which is north of Kunlai Summit in Pandaria. So if you're already there buying yaks, it's quite close by. So head over there, head to the Isle of Giants, and once you're on the island, you want to kill all of the mobs here. The Zandalari Dynamancers, the Dire Horns, the Sky Screamers, Devil Saws. They'll all have kind of like a 3-5% to chance of giving a primal egg. The baby ones having a lesser chance, and the adults having the, the bigger chance. So keep on all the mobs and eventually we'll get yourself a primal egg. You'll also be getting these bones while you kill the mobs too, which with 9,999 of them, you can turn those in for a mount on the left side of the island to an NPC. So it's worth keeping hold of those too. So once you get your primal egg, after three days it will 100% chance drop, uh, turn into a mount. Now the only downside is the mount can be a duplicate. So if you get one primal egg, you get the black raptor. Then you get another primal egg it could be the black raptor again so just keep that in mind you can be a little bit unlucky there you can also get one of these eggs on one character and bring in a new character and get another egg but you can't have more than one egg per character as they are unique so once you have an egg you have to wait for it to hatch open it and then you'll be able to get yourself another primal egg on that character the final mounts now on this list are going to be the rusted proto drake and the ironbound proto drake and this is going to take about 35 minutes to do, depending on your class, a couple of minutes more or less. Now, that is over the time for the video, but you do get two mounts from this. So if we run the numbers, we do the math, we divide it by two. It's technically 20 minutes or under per mount. So I mean, it kind of fits. And these are really cool looking mounts. So I definitely wanted to talk about them anyway. And it's very easy to do. You need a character a level 100-ish and you should be able to get these done. No problem. So to get this done, we want to go to the Raid Ulduar, which is found in Storm Peaks in Northrend. And to get the mounts, we need to complete the Glory of the Ulduar Raider Achievement, which you'll find in your Achievement Log. Most of the achievements are very self-explanatory. that It'll say to kill it in a certain order, or a certain time, or a certain way, and you just follow that and get it done. On a high-level character, this is tr very trivial. Uh, the first two achievements do cause people some confusion, though, so I will talk about those real quick. The first one is Orbitora. And that's to speak to the kind of titany guy in the middle when you enter. Don't speak to Bron, speak to him. And then jump in the demolisher, head straight down the, the kind of track, whatever you want to call it, the area. And then just be on the boss. Kill all the trash in front of the gate, the boss will spawn. And then kill the boss with pyrite and then your normal kind of shot things. And that should be no problem at all. As long as you've not killed any of the towers along the way, like the colored towers, you'll be fine. The next one is Razor Scale, which is the Iron Dwarf Medium Rare. And for this one, if you're level 120, you'll need to take off quite a bit of gear. I pretty much took off my full left side of gear, my helm, my shoulders, and also my weapons. And start the fight, so take off as much gear as you need, basically. Start the fight, and then what you want to do is basically just wait. The mobs will come over and they'll start killing all the NPCs. You just want to make sure the NPCs live long enough to complete the four kind of harpoons. Once the four harpoons are done, the NPCs can die. Once all the NPCs are dead, from there you want to just let the mobs beat on you over and over again. And the goal is to wait long enough that the mobs, you get 25 of the mob that we need, which is the Guardian Dwarf, and also Razor Scale itself enrages. Once those two things happen, you want to click the four harpoons, pull down the boss, punch it to sub 50% HP, stand in front of its mouth, and it will do en enraged deep breath, which should one-shot all of the mobs. Once that's done, you should get yourself the achievement. Another thing to note as well, if you do mess this up and you don't ha quite have enough, it does save your progress. So if you get 20, the next time you come in, you only need five more. The rest of the achievements should be no problem though. If you do have any questions or you're struggling, leave a comment, but we'll check out the wowhead post, which I'll link in the description below, and you should be able to get those achievements done no problem. So that does bring us to the end of this video. Hopefully you got yourself some new mounts and increased your mount collection. And yeah, look out for more videos coming soon. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya.